Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. What a gray day across the valley. Just like yesterday, we are expecting this system to finally move away from us, though. We can see lots of clear sky out to the west. The Storm Team Live Radar Network still pinpointing plenty of moisture, though. The positive is the cold front has now gotten through the valley. We have this low off the Carolina coast, and that front actually going to help kick that storm out to sea, and we should start to clear a little bit later on this evening. We are expecting the potential though for maybe a stray shower, but live look late at the moment, not picking up on anything. Maybe a little mist or drizzle. The greater chances for that going to be out closer to Philadelphia. I think our rain chance is really quickly coming to an end here, but it does still look gloomy in Lebanon as we peek off to the south across some of the city toward the Furnace Hills. Not the prettiest day so far, but at least we'll see some peaks of sun, especially west. 52 the current temp in Gettysburg, upper 40s in Chambersburg. The same for York. We had 51 in Lebanon and 50 on the dot there in the capital city with highs expected to rise for the most part in the low to mid 50s, which is still a little cooler than normal. We are going to start to see the clearing trend especially out across our western locales as the breeze picks up with high pressure building, making for the clearing trend through tonight. We'll fall back into the middle and upper 30s. The breeze will make it feel more like the 20s, though, so you'll want the jacket early tomorrow, but we are expecting highs to round out milder in the mid to upper 50s, along with a nice amount of sunshine, but it is going to be windy. You can see a predictor showing the clouds starting to exit the clearing developing from west to east with the drier air working in from the northwest. The evening drive looking better, drier, and through the overnight, we continue to see the clouds diminishing, leading us into a brighter Friday tomorrow. Good if you have anything, some last minute errands to do before uh, the holiday weekend or Easter weekend. In terms of baseball, the Phillies have already pushed their game to tomorrow, but the Orioles taking on the Angels, their opening day, first pitch at 3.05, may have a few showers still out there, but overall looking drier and a little bit better. We'll have temperatures rounding out in the uh, middle 50s. Now, our News 8 Storm Team 10-day forecast does show some good things for our uh, holiday weekend, but we do have to get through another round of showers on Saturday as a clipper system moves our way. We'll have highs in the mid-50s, 60 on uh, Easter Sunday, but we don't hold on to the dry weather. We're expecting another storm system to bring our rain chances back Monday into Wednesday. Highs in the mid 50s, lows in the 40s, and it looks like we'll have a cooler Thursday, maybe a stray rain or even snow shower, but we are rebounding quickly there, Susan, back close to 60 as uh, the Pirates take on the O's for their opening day. All right, thank you.